For at TV, the world is thinking. What's your bet on whether life is going back and forth uh, between Earth and Mars and other places? I mean, well, it, it, it's, it's definitely being exchanged. Uh, where it originated, we don't know. There's roughly 200 kilograms of material exchanged between Earth and Mars each year. Uh, if that's not carrying organisms like Deinococcus and other things that can easily survive, uh, I, I will be the most surprised person on this planet. Uh, so I know we'll find uh, uh, indications of life on Mars. Uh, it could be just because we've contaminated it, uh, but it's possible it's contaminating Earth with a different set. We only know about 1% of life on our own planet, so we have a ways to go to understand that. Well, you're, as I understand it, starting to uh, sample shotgun sequence whole populations in the air and all the way up to the stratosphere. Yeah. What do you find as you get farther and farther out from the surface? Well, we're still working on the, the data on the higher levels, but uh, perhaps the most exciting thing is we're starting to look at the, uh, uh, the gels uh, with space dust because we have techniques now where we can amplify from a single molecule of DNA. Uh, and there's nothing more indicative, uh, indic indicative of uh, life somewhere else than uh, large uh, macromolecules of DNA. So uh, I don't know if from the gels we'll be able to find any, but we're looking for the first time. Uh, but I think uh, just uh, we, we've talked about setting up sampling uh, arrays on the space station. Um, we've contaminated near-Earth space pretty extensively, not just with junk, but with microorganisms to an extreme. I think the, the most exciting story, uh, my, my brother is here, works with NASA, he sent it to me, I'll probably get him in trouble for telling this story, but that next time you see a shooting star, um, that, so in the space station they used to just pump out uh, the commodes into space, uh, and they, they realized they were really contaminating space. So. Now they pack them into the, the, the waste material into stainless steel containers and launch it back into orbit. And so uh, when you see a shooting star, uh, that, that, that's, that's good shit from space, man. One of our previous speakers was, uh, was uh, Rusty Schweikert, one of the astronauts. He said that when he was in orbit, uh, one of the most beautiful things you see in orbit is what they call a urine dump at sunset. <laughs> As it sprays out, and of course, the sun blasts into it, and the earth is dark below, and it's quite gorgeous. They don't do that anymore. <laughs> well, unless they have disease, the urine should be sterile. But, the uh, urine should be sterile. We were taught in the Army to use it as a, uh, as a, uh, on wounds, right? Because it, it's, it's so sterile, you can wash wounds. Didn't you do that in Vietnam? Uh, no, I was in the Navy. We had better techniques. <laughs> <laughs>